Capernaum was a fishing village. It was also the family home of the two brothers, Simon and Andrew, new disciples of Jesus. Jesus later gave Simon the nickname Peter, which is how we know him today. When we pick up the story, Jesus has just finished healing a demon-possessed man in the synagogue. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. As soon as the synagogue service had finished, Jesus went to the house of Simon and Andrew. Here, Simon's mother-in-law was sick with a fever. Now, in those days, without antibiotics and modern medicines, the illnesses that are often only a nuisance to us would kill many people. So this fever was a serious thing. Simon and Andrew tell Jesus about their mother's illness. Perhaps it was to warn Jesus not to go in because she might be contagious. Perhaps it was because they had just seen Jesus deal with the evil spirit. But whatever the reason, they tell Jesus about it. It doesn't bother Jesus. He goes in and takes her hand. Immediately, the fever leaves her. Jesus didn't have to touch her to heal her, but he wanted to. Throughout the book of Mark, you see Jesus touching every category that the Jewish leaders defined as being ritually impure. Jesus does it because he loves. When you have a problem, do you do what Simon and Andrew did? Do you tell Jesus about it? You know, when you do that, he touches you, and that's when the blessing comes. 